what is up my lovelies welcome or welcome back to the channel today we are back with the sweetest theory legacy and today is carly's birthday where has the time gone it has flown so she's literally about to age up any minute it's thursday at 5 22 p.m i actually want to throw her a party so let's schedule a birthday party like right now we will invite victor and our friends i don't want to invite too many people that she has romance with because that can conflict with a, a lot of things so we'll just invite a few friends people she met along the way do we want to cater um i guess we can hire a role for the cater and a mixologist there should be a mixologist coming to where i, I want the party to be and the entertainer oh we need more money ah okay <laughs> so let's give let's get rid of the cater we're gonna have it at this nice beach nightclub and we're going to do it now we are here and really quickly i want to hop into cast to show you her birthday outfit so this is miss carly and she is this is her gorgeous. birthday outfit i gave her this nice formal dress it's more on the pinkish purple like a fuchsia i'm guessing color so it's not super pink but it has hints of pink and i gave her her favorite red bottoms they're just in white I changed her hair, so instead of having it pent up, it's down, and it's all nice and curly. She has on like some purplish pink eyeshadow with some eyeliner, and then I tried to give her like a lip gloss to match. She has the chain and matching earrings on, but you can't see the earrings. And as for her nail, she has the same nails. They're just more gold, not rose gold, but like a gold in there. So that is her party and i did give her another swimwear so this is her first swim and i gave her something a little more intimate so she she does have the innocent trait so i didn't want to make her too seductive if that makes any sense so she has on this two piece but she has a cover on under it with some sandals to match so that is her swimwear and her party wear Okay, so I'm going to control Agatha and I'm gonna have her bake a cake for Carly. Hopefully there is a stove in the refrigerator here. It's a bar, so maybe not. Oh, I think there is the kitchen here. Oh no, this is another bar. Okay, let me put a stove in the refrigerator here so that Agatha can make a cake really quickly. All right, Agatha, come cook Carly a cake. Let's do the strawberry angel cake. Huh? I'm not you thinking best is fine. Please, Carly. I want you to come over here and get a drink. I get to go ahead and cook the cake. Okay, girl, what do you want to do? Let's do a blue Hawaii. We just spending money and we don't have it. Everybody's here getting down. Love that. Go ahead and drink your blue Hawaii. Okay, the cake is done. All right. Now, I wanted to drag this in Carly's inventory, but I don't think it's gonna let me. So Agatha, can you put this in your inventory at least? Okay, I'm gonna have her place it in the world. Where are you gonna put it? Here? That's fine. Add birthday candles, please. All right, and Carly, I want you to come and blow out candles. Happy birthday, Carly. She's aged up until an adult. Oh, my baby. Okay, can we call Tamil? Great. Okay, I'll stop controlling you now. Your job is done. Everybody come get a piece of cake. So Victor is here, but he hasn't said anything to her as of yet. While we're here, I'm going to have her scope the surroundings. I know she's attracted to Bess, but... Let's see if it's anyone else. Agatha. You cannot like Agatha. I love how it's not around Victor, though. That's crazy. One movie that I did see was Biological Clock from Aging Up. Carly is getting older and can't help thinking about the meaning of years rushing by. She has never had a child, and if she is to have any, the clock is ticking, isn't it? So she, she wants a baby now, which I kind of figured. All right, let's talk to Bess. 
let's just we can help fix a bad relationship between Julia. Like you guys get along. Then we can gossip with Julia. Maybe Victor doesn't really want to talk to her because he they are around all of these people. That could be a reason. Let's talk to Hiroko. She is kind of a best friend. Let's compliment her. We do need to get our charisma skill up. Victor's over here dancing and Lily's here which is crazy to me because I didn't invite Lily. She just showed up and she's having a good time making cranberry punches. She's attracted to Zoe too. Where's Zoe? We'll talk to her as well. Play with her a little bit and see. Oh, she liked that. <laughs> very cute. Absolutely excellent meal. So the cake was very good. Let's go ahead and drop some cute little line. You're funnier than bubble wrap. And you are more fun than bubble wrap. Oh, uh, you just made my day. Very cute. All right, Carly said, I'm going to dance if you want to join me. Is Lily still here? I love how Victor is here, but they haven't interacted once. Oh, there it is. She's going to go kiss him. Oh, he said goodbye. The party is over. She was finna go kiss him. And Lily's right here. I don't, do we know her? I don't think we do. I'm gonna do a rude introduction because no one invited you. You here. She's like, the real question is why my man is here with you. Not you think she fine, Carly. So Carly thinks she's independent and capable, but Lily says she's very rude. She is, and they got pat, bad compatibility, but she say she is fine though. Why are you being me? Oh, she's being insulted by Lily. She like, you know what you did. You slept with my man. Tell her to go away. She's like, okay, that's enough out of you. Just go away. I think the party went well. I think there might be some people still here. The DJ is still here. The party might be over, but people still jamming out. I'm gonna go ahead and have you dance. And while we're here, we might as well get to know people. Do an enchanting enchant, a what? <laughs> enchanting encounter, there we go. Because we do need to collect donations and things like that. Hello, love. Let's go ahead and implement her outfit. These sentiments be killing me. You literally just met her tomorrow. You're so fun to be around. Acquired the DJ mixing skill. How? Carly is now a DJ. She can continue to practice spinning. We we ain't even touched this. Yeah, what? Okay. <laughs> and the camera is going crazy. We about to go home. Like, not y'all flirting. Okay, I wanted you to flatter her so that we could do some politician stuff, but she left, I think. Go ahead and stop dancing. Huh? Go to work. Is it time to go to work? Carly, are you going to work after hours? I'm screaming, what? Okay, we're home. I think the party went well. I think that Lily showed up because Victor was there. And I believe since, you know, since she knows he cheated on her, I think she's been like following him around. Please go to the bathroom, thank you. But she does have some romance with Zoe and she does like, she also likes Bess. Let's go ahead and check on our baby boy and let's pick him up. Then we can ask him to go potty as well. So he's been trapped in the house all day. So how are you as far as your needs? You're doing okay. Go we'll take a quick shower and then I will let you sleep and have you get ready for work in the morning. Okay, Carly is up. Let's go ahead and make some breakfast. Well, you know, it might be some breakfast in here. Let me see. We do still have some fried eggs. So grab a serving. Then we'll just make a Americano. We got a dance floor, we're gonna sell that. <laughs> so she's going through this purpose of life, like fear of unfulfilled dreams. And I'm not sure what to do with that. I don't know if she can talk to someone about that. So Yusuke always checks up on us and he's like, I heard you became good friends with Agatha. Yes, Yusuke. I think he's more of a friend than a romantic interest. So we'll cut him out. All right, love, you got work in a minute. So it's time to go. She said, let me finish my last sip of coffee. 
then we can go all right all right we are back and victor is like do you want to go on a date now you taking us back to the same place we at the birthday party oh okay come on victor brought us back here she is very tense because she's stressed from work maybe he knew she had a stressful work day who are you gonna chat with is that the person at the bar you might have a little problem oh no this is just some random person well since we're here go ahead and compliment flatter her and promote your call might as well becca is calling oh my goodness she has a crush on us we can go on a date with her that's fine i think carly is attracted to all of these people but i really think she is in love with victor i just really do so let's come over here and do some romantic stuff and let's embrace him i think oh she's telling the engaging story i think she got her to promote the call so she's just trying to get more people okay victor hi and i know he need a makeover y'all i do okay i hopped in the cast and gave victor a quick makeover so this is what he's looking like right now he does look a little bit younger because of the overlay that i gave him it took away some of those face wrinkles but i did give him this hair and this gold teeth mustache and like some chin hair he pretty much has on the same outfits i didn't change anything but i do want to look at etta she's very cute they gave her this little hair <laughs> so she's very cute she looks like her dad so i'll keep everything the same but yes this is victor because we on episode like nine and i still haven't given him a makeup so every time i leave out of cast this is the second time trying to give victor a makeover for some reason it brings me back home and i i don't really understand why but it does so she is at the nightclub so i'm just gonna switch bring her here because the date crashed and everything so i'm just gonna save i forgot to give my boy some cold weather wear but yeah he did ask her out on a date and it crashed so yeah that's that okay yeah she's immediately like i'm gonna do yoga that is fine mind concentrating yoga oh sherlock aged up Oh, he's a big dog. Oh my goodness. Hello, that's a big boy. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you're gonna be able to fit in your bed anymore. She was immediately happy after that too. That's so cute. Okay, so she has work in 14 hours. It is 9 p.m. I think it's, no, it's not New Year's. Tomorrow is New Year's. So he's going out to play in the snow. Where are you going? Okay, he's just running around. All right, since the date didn't go well, I think Carly is gonna call Victor over and, and ask him like, hey, you wanna come over? Where is he? Oh, he's at the festival. I guess we can come over here and talk to him or kiss neck. I don't think his wife is here. Now, I wonder how she perceives him now that I gave him a makeover. She still perceives him as very attractive. Go ahead and ask him about his day or brighten his day. We can ask for a large loan or a small loan. <laughs> brighten his day first. Yo, they're smoking. He's like, hi, how are you? How's things? How's the babes? He's like, I seen your wife at my party. What happened? How oh, she's listening to his question. He looked it offended. Like, yeah, what happened? Now, with the mega interactions, we could do romantic, good night, beautiful. I wanted to do more of like the relationship milestones, but I don't see that anymore. Maybe it's because their romance is so like high. Yeah, how about you? Can you go here together or sit somewhere else without everyone in your business here? Can you sit and chat here? Oh, Victor said, I'm leaving. He said, I should really get going. Yeah, as soon as we were about to ask you some questions, now you should really get going. Okay, while you have Sherlock out here, please tell him to potty before he comes in the house. 
Okay, he's learned to pee outside. Great. And I guess we could do a little playtime with him as well. You can give this ball to him now. He can play with it. Don't step in the poo. Okay, he can play with that. Let me see. You have work in 10 hours. You are hungry. She's like, I'm going to get food. All right, great. And then we'll fill and call Sherlock to eat. All right, we upgraded Sherlock's bed because it was small. Now we can ask him to lie down. Oh, he killed that food. Good night. Okay, it is New Year's. Wait, use the bathroom and get yourself together. So we'll go out for today. Um, She has, I think she has work. Yeah, she has work in five hours. I really want her to get a promotion this episode. I want her to be in the best mood. And we need to fill our baby's bowl back up. All right, good morning. Go ahead and hug Sherlock. Hi, love. And as always, I'll have her go get her morning coffee. I forgot he's obsessed with this refrigerator for some reason, like he really loves it. You know, while we're here, let's go ahead and check our progress. Oh, can you not reach it because of the bed? I updated her computer, so this one's a little more newer than the other one, <laughs> but it's still kind of old. Let me see if you can check your progress now. You should have room. There we go. Okay, we have 27 Sims registered and 1575 donated to the call, so we're doing great. Now, for me to test this out really quickly, let me see if you can do a brain boosting yoga thing. Yes. All right, so everything is working. We do have a bit of money, so I'm thinking about doing more renovations to the house. And you need to shave, so that's what I'm gonna have you do once you're done with your little routine. She wants to be enemies with Thorn. Okay. And make connections at work. We can do that as well. She's reached wellness level four. I absolutely love that for her. Go ahead and stop that. You're in a good mood, I think. You you still have this purpose of life. I need you to talk to someone about that. Oh, see, it says it's holiday, but sometimes it makes her go into work. Let's go ahead and can we play with you? Let's play. Looks a little bored. Oh, awesome. So since we are on holiday, we can go and protest and we'll do it right here in San Myshuno. So it looks like some people are out and about. Oh, we can go to work now. See, I don't know if that's broken or not. Stop that, go to work. Okay, she is back and we are so close to a promotion. I know she wants to make connections, but I really wanted her to work hard. Okay, it's 7.07 .07 PM. And I do want to celebrate New Year's. Why are you here? You don't live there. Go home. Let's get you in the right mood. Oh, Hiroko is asking her, us to her house, so. Okay, I did pop back in the cast and give Hiroko a cute little makeover. I think she is so adorable. I put a skin overlay on her, gave her some eyelashes, changed her eyebrows, and gave her a little bit of lip gloss in this cute, one piece outfit. So it's like a dress with a crop top sweater over it with some heels to match. And she has some basic white nails. So that is her. I only gave her every day because we on episode like eight or nine and it was just time for some makeover. So that is Hiroko. Come over here and do a New Year's Eve toast. And I feel like, please, not you attracted to your friend, Carly. <laughs> I feel like they are good enough friends for her to be able to have deep conversations with her about everything that's going on. It's the extremely attractive. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's the extremely attractive. Y'all are friends. I mean, we can flirt and see what happens. Are you flirting with her? No, you're listening to her question. Hey, Y'all are having fun. We can literally kiss her hands. Let's ask her about her love life. Let's see how everything is going. And then I want her to tell Hiroko all about what's going on with Victor. We'll have a deep conversation. I am gonna control Hiroko to see how she feels about Harley. So let me see. Inspiring role model from being impressed by someone nearby deep connection and impeccable taste. How do you feel about Carly? 
basic looking. She's charming, but basic looking. Ooh. Carly is basic looking. Girl, we just gave you a makeover. Don't do too much on my girl. So she does think she's pretty, but I don't think Hiroko, she's like, she's cool. We can complain about burnout too. Maybe that'll help with your daisiness. Your daisiness, the uh, the dazed mood that you have. She's helping her. But let's get to know her a little bit more. Because I do want Carly to have a best friend. I do. She has the hero personality type. She seems like a very nice girl. Okay, I seen some love stuff going on. I don't I don't know what that's about. They are having fun though. <laughs> and her stress is going down. So right now they're watching the countdown to midnight together. This is really cute. Shushubi. Oh, it's almost time. Shushubi. Yay, very nice. She brought it in with Hiroko. Thank you for inviting us. Can we tell her thank you for inviting us? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. You did count to midnight, so we're going to check that off. Okay, so let's go home. High energy boredom. Carly... Here Carly is sitting around doing nothing. Wow, y'all have fun, girl. Stop it, go home. Okay, we are back. Let's sweep around a little bit. And then we'll get ready for tomorrow because we do have work. Get some leftovers. And then we'll brush Sherlock. I think he might be going to sleep though. Give him some love and attention and then you can go ahead and go to bed. All right, it's 7.26 a.m. Go ahead and use the bathroom. You have work in exactly four hours. And we have seven friends out of 12, so we're doing great. And she's so close to a promotion, so I think today might be the day. While you're here on the computer, let's go ahead and update our social media. So check your timeline. Update your social media. Good, so you got 100 followers. Great. Carly decided to do some yoga before she goes in, which is a great idea because I'm gonna have her work hard. All right, Carly is back and she has been promoted to nonprofit director. Very good. So an additional 30 for a grand total of 153 per hour. She has also received 589 in a bonus. Collect donation, a thousand interaction. And her next shift is Monday. So she has worked in 14 hours. We are a charity organizer level eight i am very proud of her and i actually don't hate this outfit i actually don't it doesn't look too bad so a few good things happened in this episode carly had a birthday she was able to hang out with hiroko and she got a promotion on her job so i think she's doing very well she does want a child and i do believe she wants to settle down she is in love with victor but I don't know if that is the right move. We will see. I don't know. She is attracted to a lot of different people, mostly women. So maybe in the next episode, we can go on a date with Becca because she did ask us to go out on a date. She does like her friend, but I think I just want them to be friends. And then we will see with Victor. I'm, I'm really not sure where to go, but I do want her to have a baby soon because she is in her adulthood. We still need to finish her friend of the world aspiration. So we still have a lot of things to do in her gen. But yes, as I always say, thank you so much for watching, support, and always remember to save your game. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and come back because you know I love it when you do. And until the next one.